bitch. Do you wish you were? Today, I'm gonna take some inexpensive stuff and show you how to turn it into this. And you wanna know the best part? You don't have to use any tools at all. I'm not kidding you. The things you're gonna need is a hot glue gun. You're gonna need some hot glue. You're gonna need this little pack of lights that I found at Walmart back in the floral supply section. Um, they're LED. You're also gonna need some gold garland or tinsel. And you're gonna need this cauldron or leprechaun pot. I got this one at Halloween time. It's actually a trick or treat pill. All right, let's get started. So here's where we're gonna start. We're gonna take this witch's cauldron or I'm calling it a leprechaun pot of gold right now. I'm gonna take one of my bowls that I got at the dollar store. These were four for a dollar. And as you can see, I've already used a few. What I'm gonna do is take this bowl and glue it in a few spots. Now we're just gonna place it upside down and try to get it centered on the top here. Now we can go back through and add some more glue around the outside here. Let that dry for a little bit and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, our glue around the outside is dried, so now we're gonna move on to the next step. We're gonna take this stuff and this is garland or tinsel or there's so many different names for it. I call it garland. So this is leftover from Christmas with a little bit of hot glue. And I'm gonna put a little bit, a little dab on the end. Then you're gonna wanna find where the front of your pot is and then put this starting point in the back here. And be careful, this glue is very hot. So now that we got that started, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, well, I'm gonna put a little daub of glue, probably every, I'd say four or five inches. Start at the bottom and then slowly work my way up towards the top. So I'm almost to the top and what I'm gonna do just to make this a little bit easier on myself is I'm gonna take this garland and pull out kind of a little bit of it and then sort of spin it around a couple times to see how much I'm gonna need. And then all I'm gonna do is take just a pair of scissors and then cut that right off. Now I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna put some more little dabs of glue in there just to fill this in and finish it off and then we'll go on to the next step. So we just finished putting the gold on there. Does it look like a pot of gold yet? I'm probably saying, uh, kind of, but not really. Well, here's where these lights are gonna come in. Um, these are 20 LED lights, and they're the kind of lights that are just on that little wire. So look at these lights. Seriously, the wire is so thin. Okay, so if you notice here, there's a little kind of rubber seal here that connects this wire to this thinner wire. That's where I'm gonna put my hot glue at, because I don't wanna damage these thin wires. And then I'm gonna put that right where I started my garland in the back. All right, so that's dry. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn these on. That way I can kind of see where my lights are gonna go. Just kind of use my right or left hand as a guide sort of to see where these are gonna sit at. And I'm doing the same spiral motion and kind of tucking them in where the garland layers are. They go really nicely in there. And then there's a little end piece on here. It's just sort of a bare end of the wire. I'm actually gonna take that and stuff it down into the garland. Just take this little battery pack and just sort of hide it right behind here. And nobody's even gonna know that it's there. All right, I'm all finished. It took me probably about five or 10 minutes to do this. Um, I don't think it was too hard and the materials were pretty inexpensive actually. This was a dollar on sale. The bulls were four for a dollar. The tinsel was left over from Christmas time and the lights were actually the most expensive part. They were, I think maybe five or $6. If you like this video, leave me a thumbs up. I love that. And make sure you subscribe. That's even better. I would say do that one too. Well, do both. If you subscribe to my channel, make sure that you share my videos with your friends because we would love to have them here too, huh? Don't you think that they would love to do some crafts? I think they would. All right, well, I hope to see you next week whenever I tackle another inexpensive 
uh, decoration or craft. All right, see you next time. Bye.